Rivers along the north shore of Lake Superior drop off a plateau steeper than almost anywhere in North America. These are short runs, but have they got action. The Lester is a class five river with an intensity that represents the north shore of Lake Superior rivers. This is a really narrow river. It's more like a creek because it's only 30 to 40 or even 50 feet wide in most places. So you don't have a lot of room for error. It has steep drops, technical drops, long, fast rapids and night nice slides. They're big, powerful and energetic. This river is a blast with some killer action on it. Yeah, I mean, it's a world-class run. It's got great rapids, they link together, good lines. You know, there's as much as you want to chew off if you want to go big or not. So yeah, great place to have a race. Really test yourself with difficult whitewater. At the bottom, it's yeah. sticky. Bottom, hell yeah. Nine to 10 people made it through. <laughs> oh, risky business. Just make sure you're charging. Make sure you take a stroke at the lip. Get some speed. Well, there's going to be action on the river today. Oh, yeah. Running a whitewater race like the Lester is an intense experience. A race itself of any kind is intense, but when you're racing on class five whitewater where there's danger and rocks and a significant river level, it's a completely different experience. You're not scouting. You're not catching eddies. You're not waiting for your buddies. You are on the river alone, just going, going, going with as much speed and intensity as you can get, going full bore with complete disregard for any danger. You're thinking, I want to win this race and survive. When you're racing through a class five river like this, you got to know your line, you got to know where you are and what the rapid is like. With the water being so high, there's a lot of speed and power to the river. And that increases the danger factor because the holes get bigger and there's just a lot more power to what's going on around you. You never know what's going to happen. And when you're running a race, you have to get that doubt out of your head because fear and thoughts like that will slow you down. If you're overly cautious, it can compromise your confidence and make you miss your line. So you kind of wash the danger, the fear, and the trepidation out of your system. And the rapids are steep, so if anything were to happen, you're gonna be grinding and pounding on rock and possibly getting stuck in holes. You can lose your boat, lose your paddle, or you can break equipment. You can swim. You can even get injured and wind up in the hospital. The consequences of killer whitewater, separated shoulder. There's a lot that can go wrong on a river like this. So if anything happens, it's gonna be happening fast and it's gonna be happening hard too. There's a little bit of carnage, which you never like to see, but it's expected when you're racing down class five, there's gonna be some. It's a difficult thing to plan for because you never know when the snow's gonna melt, so you, you kind of have a floating date in mind. You know, it kept delaying a week, kept delaying a week, because this was a long spring, and eventually looked like we'd hit this weekend, and we ended up, you know, bluebird skies and pretty decent temperatures with the sun out. Yeah. So it was good water level, and everything came together. This race is really cool because it showcases that there, there are some stylish, uh, skilled expert boaters in the Midwest, and that people from other places, like boaters from out west, come here and find this whitewater challenging and give a lot of props to the North Shore Lake Superior. Well, this is a full-on killer exciting river. It's not for the faint of heart. Today, being a race, you're not catching any eddies, you're just charging full-on. But I think it's still similar to paddling in the way that you're not thinking about anything else. Like yeah. the whole kind of like zen part of paddling where you're, you're paddling and only paddling. You're not doing anything else. You're not, you know, thinking about anything else. Just focus on your paddle strokes and, you know, going with the flow, following the water. It was definitely a, a class four, class five run out there today. Every year the rivers when they're flowing are an attraction and there are some thrill seekers that would love to do the rapids and some of the falls along here. But I'd rather watch than be one of them in the kayak. They're probably a little on the daring side and like the adrenaline rush. It's very exciting. <laughs> There's a lot of action for spectators to see. It's a great river and a great race for that. Definitely, no doubt. And there, there's a good community here as boaters and we look out for each other and 
you know, good safety, good times, good lines.